love the chase and the hunt And I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now we Alright guys, welcome back uh, Just starting out the week a quarter of a mile. We're going to Tacoma to pick Jump up back. a container But uh, this morning when I was picking up my trailer There was a nice little parking violation from the city and it's odd because I know I was parked there for five days for uh, Thanksgiving you know I could have went back to work after Thanksgiving you know Friday but turn left who wants to do that so I enjoyed a nice long holiday weekend and uh, kind of got punished for it I don't know one thing the Whatever the warning violation was, I mean, it was in the envelope, wet and frozen, so, I mean, it's unreadable. But I've already talked to uh, the city poli chief police officer there, and uh, last time I talked to him, we had uh, understanding and there was no issue, so I don't know what the problem is. Maybe the problem is just that it was over longer than just the weekend, but, I mean doesn't take common sense to realize it's a holiday so just a kind of a crummy start to the week but uh we'll move past it and uh get going so catch you later and uh we're going to helena montana all right guys we're all loaded up pretty easy got all of our uh, edge protectors up uh, it's a brand new container so makes it uh pretty easy did a walk around there was some loose rocks stuck in the lip knocked those off uh sent a picture to the broker and to the customer um they did not request an approval for the container but since we're going so far sent it anyways there's been issues in the past so i just don't want any issues i'm gonna go ahead and uh top off the fuel on the truck and uh hit the road all right guys it is the next morning it's 24 degrees outside so i put on the front winter grill to try to keep the engine warm and try to get the uh, transmission cool uh, temperatures up i did check the weather for the rest of the route and the rest of the route is gonna be in the low 30s so should be good uh, if it seems to be getting hot, I'll take it off. But um, keeping the engine warm is going to help keep that DPF filter clean too because it needs heat to stay clean. So hopefully it, it will help fuel mileage as well. But uh, I'm going to text the customer, let him know my ETA for this morning. And, uh, you know, that's a backup camera I installed on my trailer. It's working now, but all last week it wasn't working. I took some uh, sandpaper and kind of cleaned up uh, the connection on the outside of the pins. And even after doing that yesterday, it still wasn't working. And then magically this morning it works. So, I mean, last night I was on the forums and everyone's like, it's 50-50. And when it's not working, it's 50-50. It's kind of crazy, but uh, that's about it. Let's hit the road. Well guys, get used to uh, this being the last sights of this beautiful view of Montana. Because I've been driving through here, this Missoula area. And the rivers have chunks of ice <laughs> floating down it. So, this is going to be covered in snow. But, as I noticed last year, it, it was cold and it had snow. Because it wasn't it wasn't deep snow. So uh maybe that's a good thing. But yep. We are on our last stretch to Helena. Alright guys, we made it. We're here on time, a couple minutes early, which is always good. Uh the guy's not here yet, so we're gonna go ahead and get this unstrapped and uh he just lives here in town a couple minutes away, so Hopefully by the time we get all this squared away, uh, he's here and can pluck this off. 
The sun is uh, going down. Got about two hours of sunlight left, which is just enough time to get back to Missoula and settle down for the night. All right, guys, customer got unloaded and uh, he's using his tow truck to deliver it. Uh, 608 miles, average 6.6 .6 miles per gallon. Paid 1700 bucks. I'll have to do the math for you. Well, guys, things haven't really gotten any better. Seems like there's a cold front heading in. As far as I can see, everywhere is gonna be getting snow uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And, uh, you know, it's Wednesday afternoon. You know, tried to get something out of Missoula, couldn't find anything. Uh, attempted to get uh, some stuff out of Spokane, uh, that fell through. So <clears throat> there's just not a lot going on. And then the only load that I saw was a tarp load, and it's so cold outside. My tarps are frozen. So, uh, and then the, my deck is slippery. So I, I really don't want to be tarping in these conditions so I'm heading back home um, and I gotta figure out where to park my trailer because uh, the city apparently left me a note saying they're gonna tow my trailer I don't know what's going on I've already talked to them many times and has been an issue and all of a sudden I get a letter and now it's an issue but yeah, you can see the driving conditions. It's been like this most of the driving. Just a little bit in uh, Montana where it cleared up. But uh, most of the time it's been like this. And uh, the truck stop, you know, the asphalt's black ice. And it's just gonna be getting colder and colder and snow. So it's just not worth it. I'm gonna hang it up for the rest of the week, unfortunately. Unless I find something heading uh, in a good direction where I feel safe and comfortable taking it. But uh, yeah, not very good driving conditions. Hopefully everyone survives this uh, winter storm because it's supposed to affect most of the United States. Well, this is the kind of stuff that happens. One lane road and a uh, car broke down, so uh, you know, a semi tried going around and almost caused an accident. So I just stopped and offered to help out, which is the right thing to do because there's a mile of traffic behind us. There's nowhere to go, really. Sometimes there's a gap in the other side. So I offered to give them some chains, but uh, they already had it kind of situated by the time I got up there. So now I'm just going to stick behind them and... Make sure they get up here nice and safe. All right, we got the car out of the way. I uh, ran into a little bit of a hiccup. He couldn't get it into neutral. And it doesn't help that neither one of the guys uh, could speak English, so it was very difficult. But uh, I understand that uh, the car was in park uh, because like the battery, I don't know, some safety system. But I know that there's, it was an older car, so with the automatics, there's a, a neutral safety switch uh, on the, right next to the shifter. There's normally a little plastic tab you have to pop out and then you push your key in there and then it releases the, the mechanism for the shifter so you can move it into neutral. So I was able to get it into neutral for them. And then, uh, yeah, within like 10 seconds, they were able to get it into a nice area out of the road onto a shoulder so traffic could keep moving so that's just one of the things like how long was that guy there before you know someone decided to help out i could have passed him but the reality is you know sometimes you might know something which i knew something that they needed to be able to get going and then the problem was solved so it doesn't help the or it doesn't hurt to help out 